Welcome back. It's meant to protect our military men and women, especially when they are back home after serving our country. It's a three piece bill with the final piece just being introduced last month. ABC 12's Washington correspondent Lauren Adams reports from Capitol Hill. As the victims from the most recent shooting in Fort Hood are laid to rest, the conversation continues on Capitol Hill about how to prevent a tragedy like this from happening again. We do a great uh, physical evaluation, medical evaluation when you want to join the service, but we don't do a mental health screening or evaluation. So and Congressman and, uh, Glenn Thompson introduced the, the MEPS or Medical Evaluation Parity for Service Members Act. All this, the MEPS Act is designed to do is to keep people safe and keep people well. It provides a requirement for a mental health evaluation at the time of enlistment into the service. The bill was introduced six days before the recent Fort Hood shooting. Thompson says it needs to be talked about and passed because although it couldn't prevent the most recent tragedy, it could prevent similar shootings in the future. As a country, we, we, we really have failed uh, when it comes to doing the right things for folks who are, are suffering from these chronic conditions. Thompson says the mental health screenings will allow the government to catch and treat any problems someone is having before they serve. Something Thompson says we owe to our military members. We have an obligation to take care of the men and women who, who protect and take care of us in the service of this country. The bill has seen support from both sides of the aisle in the House of Representatives, but it doesn't stop there. The MEPS Act was recently introduced in the Senate, and it's seen bipartisan support in that chamber as well. Reporting in Washington, I'm Lauren Adams.